body is stuck in my memory and uh, I wait for a little time to come. So uh, ICRC is a commission, you know, our act was passed in 2005, you know, and uh, there was also a policy, national policy on PPP. Our mandate is to support NDS, uh, that is ministries, department and agencies of government, develop public-private partnerships, projects, and uh, our other mandate is to take custody of those projects that have been signed with the private party to make sure that they are implemented you know, to the best and best practices has been exercised in all over the world. So it was on this basis we have been supporting MDS in virtually all sectors of the economy, none of the sectors that is left behind. So today, since this discussion on the road uh, corridor, one of our key projects, and it has been mentioned by the, uh, my colleague here and the uh, recipe, the Highway Development Management Initiatives. So I'm going to give us an update where we are and where we are headed to. So, so this is the presentation outline. This one? Okay. So this is the presentation outline. You know. We have the analysis, the economic benefits, risks, construction periods, stakeholder engagement, governance, project governance structure. Uh, we, uh, we issue certification for all PPP projects. So for the stages where we are and our implementation. You know, this, you know, this is the primary road corridors in Nigeria. All other corridors, I think, uh, they fall within this uh, category of uh, roads. So therefore, it was on this basis the highway development major initiative was, was was built upon. So, as we said, the federal government only controlled maximum about 35,000 kilometers of road, you know, and uh, these are the primary roads, and they connect each and every senatorial districts across the country. You know, each each state has three senatorial districts, so the federal highways virtually connect every senatorial district. And uh, all other roads are what are tributary to those major corridors. So sustenance and maintenance of road, frankly speaking, is becoming a challenge, you know, to federal government. And as a result, so the funding to develop these projects is also a, a, a big problem. So in life, you always have to do what for, for Plan B or an alternative. So over the years. A lot of discussion has been going on, you know, in how can we develop our rec sector. One, uh, Rosie, I mentioned so many initiatives bringing the private sector, and uh, we have the tax credit scheme, we have the school. Now we are also going to have what a pilot scheme of what public private partnerships. You know, we have a huge uh, gap to finance to develop our roads, you know. Annual budget allocation to Ministry of Works is in the region of about 120 billion. But what we require, you know, to, to at least on an annual basis is about that 900 billion or 1 trillion naira, you know, to put our roads, you know, in order. As a result of these challenges, you know, a different Ministry of Works is exploring PPP options. You know, these PPP options is not new. It has been on drawing board for a very long time, you know. But uh, you know, development actually changing from one way of doing things to other is always a challenge. So the pilot scheme is in line with the government economic reform agenda, the highway development major initiatives. So it's part of our economic reform agenda, you know, that uh, the entire system has to change. So we want to engage private sector, you know, we have to tap their technical competence, material capacities, and one and financial resources, you know, to put back our road into proper listing. So it's envisaged that by adopting PPP practice, you know, we are going to have good roads as time goes by. So the objective to increase the uh, infrastructure development by applying commercial approach. PPP is basically what? A commercial approach. We are bringing a private sector putting his all his resources, technical and material, including finances. So at the end of the day, he wants a return on investment. That's why I call it what? Uh, uh, it's a commercial venture. 
maximum revenue generation potentials of the routes. So one of the key discussions of this one is the road policy. Now our roads, we have to make it that they can be able to generate economic activities on their own. By generating economic activities, invariably means what? We are also creating employment opportunities. And by creating employment opportunities, while well, you are reducing you know, the incidence of what, you know, crime and insecurity in the nation. Our biggest challenge today in Nigeria is, is employment challenges. If people are engaged, all these incidents will go down naturally. So, I think equity in road charges, establish government role as investment promoter. So as time goes by, role of government is to promote investments rather than what, being a player in the field. Attend international best practice, you know, they, they show the category of what roads across Africa, and unfortunately, we are at the bottom of the ladder. You know, it's painful actually. You know, when you travel, you see good roads, smooth roads, you know, but unfortunately, when you come, but I believe one day we are going to, you know, be there. So, the pilot PPP project could include construction and maintenance of road pavements, construction of interchanges and bridges. Construction and operation of training facilities, installation of intelligent traffic system, it has been mentioned here. Uh, regular patrol of the highway with support of security agencies. Provision of training services as we ride driven really done by, 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 by RSFT. And I have to recognize, I live in Malawi for 25 years and I know your efforts. Anytime when the road collapses, you know, the RSFT that want to rescue us, otherwise we will spend seven hours without entering the city center. So I must uh, commend you on that area. Provision of uh, order include provision of direction signages, resting areas, and the uh, elimination of the highways. So we have taken a lot of analysis, you know, on our road listing, and it's expected that implement a specific implementation of HIV will result in single injection of requisite capital. So who was successful? from this pilot scheme, it will open a window for other roads in Nigeria to be on board. A pilot scheme will create business opportunities, development and promotion of logistics and transportation hubs for passenger and for industrial and agro. You know, it has been mentioned by the various uh, presenters. So the benefits in the immediate term, the project will create job opportunities, you know, for construction industry cluster professionals, Technician, artisan, and co. The pilot road scheme will lead to reduction of time. You know, if you have smooth road, you reduce your time. You go to places on time, and uh, even biking maintenance and and foiling. Pilot scheme is subject to very significant improvement in security and monitoring. In a lot of countries today, once you enter your, your corridor, cameras are monitoring. If there is an accident within a short time you will see helicopter spots to rescue. So one day, even not our time, but when we lay the foundation, our children will benefit. In the long term, the scheme will improve, uh, will impact knowledge and skills to Nigerians. You know, today, if we look at our ports, there were concession in 2005, which uh, we transferred to proper terminals to private operators. And uh, when you enter a public container terminal today, you know, and part of the transaction, you know, in 2005-2006, is like part of Antwerp. But our biggest challenge in Apapa is the reform we have undertaken should be in whole, but unfortunately we do it in part. You cannot uh, reform the ports without the real and the rules. That's why whatever uh, 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 committee you set up to resolve the issue of Apapa, until you have evacuation corridors. You know, the reform agenda of the port that time was Nigeria port should be a transit port. Now, turning the digital corridor, anything that will go down this ahead will just follow that corridor. Those that are going towards uh, the Chad region should follow the eastern corridor. But unfortunately, the roads and the railway are not supportive to the fault infrastructure that were perpetually the entire upper area has collapsed. You know, residences have to leave the area uh, due to challenges. So, the Highway Development Management Initiative, these are the roads, you know, we selected as a pilot case. We have the 
Canal de Dukuri, which is about 540 kilometers, but out of it will only take two sections Canal Shuari and the Potoskum Damatru. In between Potoskum Damatru, we have the Azare Potoskum. But we only, have to, we only took two sections of that quarry because the Kano Medigo has five sections. Now you have Kano Kasana Corridor, you have Lorin Java, you have Lokoja Benin, you have Abuja Kefi Akonga, you have Abuja, uh, sorry, Patakot Inugu, Konisha Uwebi Benin, Asaba Shagamu Benin, and the Lagos uh, uh, Abekuta. And we also have we have also Lagos Badagri. These are the pilots we want to test. You know, when you want to test something, you cannot do it in Burgos. You have to learn from experiences, and now we are building the experiences. And we believe in the next couple of a decade to come, ten years, there will be major change in Nigerian roads. So these are the pilots roads we selected. And we have 13 projects out of 20 routes because Kano Medugori Corridor has two candidates, projects. Kano Ishwari does make it 13. So these are the distinct based primary data of the road. Uh, the longest one is the uh, uh, Inugu Patako, which are 200 kilometers. But all the rest are in the region of what? You know, uh, below uh, 200 kilometers. So these are the roads. Right now we are just running for private sector to take over. From there on, we continue to build, you know, you know, it's like building a pyramid. You know, the pyramid of Giza is not built overnight. So, uh, when we expect this project will generate a minimum of 1.3 trillion. 1.13 trillion. That's what we are expecting to come from the private sector. So, the application, the uh, applicable length of concession for Toro is what we pick it 25 years. So we allow the private sector, our pick is 25 years. But if a private party will come with a proposal for 30 years, and you can convince us that yes, we, because we are not after innovation. Yeah, we are not after just engineering, but we are after what innovation are you coming up with? However, the impression being experienced and coupled with the dividend value of Nara is eroding some of these assumptions. So this figure, you know, is not casted on iron. So the project road Nigeria has a viable roads. You know, when you have a market of 250 million people and a capitalization of 480 billion Nara and dollars. That is the sense of our market. So we have a very sizable market that can attract all kinds of investments. So this co-founders selected route, when implemented, will actually you know, drive us. So as we said earlier, you know, a chunk of the holidays in Nigeria are on Nigeria roads. It has been mentioned here. And they will also admitted that. So risks are allocated. You know, in PPPs, the most central factor in PPP is risk allocation. So, any party should carry the one that can be here. Financing, operation, maintenance. Actually, it's transferred to the private party. But right of way, free of incumbrances is primarily the responsibility of the federal government. And we are committed all incumbrances on the highway will be, will be cleared. So, we cannot hand over a corridor that has had incumbrances. So Nigeria has been defined. There is a size in both length and, uh, and breadth. So therefore, we are going to cover it. So it's for 25 years. The duration of the concession, it could be more or less. So we have uh, carried a lot of stakeholder engagements. You know, Nigeria is a big size. We cannot carry all at the same time. But we have done our best to engage the intellectual community, the transporters, you know, a lot of uh, security agencies, you know, they are all...